good morning. Um, back on the road again this morning and got up and at it pretty early this morning because we're headed into the Smoky Mountains. So I had to get an early start. But uh, the game plan today is kind of make it up into the southern margins of the Smokies just north of Cherokee and basically fish um, some of the smaller streams um, in that area. There's the stream specifically we're going to start off on is one I stumbled upon um, toward the end of winter last year. I didn't end up doing a video on it. I actually ended up being more of like a scouting day. I had gone with the intention of fishing Cataloochee Valley over on the eastern end of the Smokies and it ended up being closed due to inclement weather. So kind of scrounged around and looked on the map and stumbled across this place. Uh, the day I fished it ended up being pretty blown out and not great fishing, but today should be much, much better and the stream's beautiful. So I've made it a point to say I'm gonna, I really wanna come back and fish this stream. And today's the first chance I've really had. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, mostly will be rainbow trout in the lower reaches. May have a chance to get into some rookies and some of the tribs or as we make our way into the higher elevations. Uh, we'll see how far we can make it, but I'm looking forward to it and can't wait to see what we get into. Thank you guys for tagging along. So just uh, kind of getting set up here. Uh, you can hear the river in the background, so we should be kind of down on the river here shortly. Just uh, gonna give you a kind of a game plan of what the what the approach for today, at least initially, is gonna try to be. So uh, mainly, kind of start off with got just a dry dropper set up. So just a, I'm gonna start with like a little wolf variation, uh, about 18, inch, 18 inches down to like a maybe like a little zebra midge or something like that. But um, Basically, the goal is to do a lot of dry dropper fishing. The Smoky Mountain streams, a lot of them lend themselves well to that. Uh, this stream is good for that, or at least it's, when I scouted it out, it seemed like it would be typical of your normal Smoky Mountain stream. But you may also see early on, you may see me do some like tight line nymphing. Um, I may go ahead and set up my Euro rod as well, um, just because the, initially there's some deeper pools and runs that I wanna make sure I cover. But in general, as I make my way up, it should be more uh, dry dropper fishing. At least that's the hope. Fish will dictate ultimately what I do, but that's that's the hope. So we'll we'll get down there shortly. Nice. Wild rainbow to start the day. All right, so looks like he took, uh, looks like the little yellow soft tackle that I had tied above my anchor fly. So caught him on the Euro rig. <laughs> what do we got here? A baby, baby rainbow. Let's see here, little bud. A tiny, tiny rainbow. <laughs> see if we can get you off there, bud. You got tangled up in my stuff there. There we go. 
There he is. Let him go back to his home. Bye bye. Uh, heading back away from the main stretch of river that we fished initially this morning and gonna try to go up and see if we can have a look at least at one of these smaller tributaries and see if um, see if we can find a brook trout up there but uh, we'll see what it looks like and see if we think we can make it happen Ah, what a pretty fish. So pretty, that's what we came up here for. Even if he's the only one to catch. Look at those fins, those little spots. So pretty. Let's get you back in the water. Beautiful fish. Man. Get our hands wet. We'll show them off. Wow. Look at the fins. Beautiful, beautiful spots. And I just, these are just the prettiest fish. Wow. in the day now and i'm just meandering back off the mountain where we meandered up trying to go after some brookies and we found success and i can tell how excited i was uh, there's something so special about catching a native brook trout and then doing it here in the smokies is i don't know just i think that much cooler so i'm excited uh, we caught a couple up there i uh, missed a couple uh, where they they bit well and just you know hook didn't set right or whatever and they they got off but there's something just so cool about that. So uh, just uh, heading back down to the main river now. And I may I may try to fish one or two more holes. I don't have a lot of time left. But um, I'm going to see see if I can't hit a couple of holes in the main river kind of before I head on out. So uh, we'll, we'll see if we can get one or two more.
just uh, kind of getting back in the truck here, getting ready to pack up for the day. Uh, got to fish a few more holes after uh, kind of going up after those brook trout, but wasn't really able to make anything happen. I missed like a couple of fish, but really wasn't able to make anything happen. So got to head back now. But all in all, it was an absolute gorgeous day. Um, caught some fish this morning on the mainstream. Uh, mainly they were taking nymphs. I never really was able to get them to take any dry flies. The only dry flies I was able to get fish to take were when I went up and started chasing the little little brookies. And um, so all in all, it was an absolutely amazing day. I can't tell you how thankful I am to be able to come and fish the Smokies. It's, it's just one of the most beautiful and most peaceful places. And then to add a few native brook trout, uh, on, on, on top of everything, that's just icing on the cake. So all in all, a good day and very thankful to be here. And thank you guys for tagging along. We'll see you next time.